Hi. So today I'm here with MP Exotics. Hi, I'm Perry. Hi, I'm Michaela. And we're going to have a little look at what they've got. <laughs> Should have brought me tripod. Yep, definitely spider shot this one. There's loads of these now, aren't there? What one are we going to do? I don't know, you're I think it's that one, isn't it? I'm going to see. My birthday in November. Yeah, we're going to finish. November. Yeah, that's the, uh, the only one I might be able to make this year. They had one in um, Chelmsford, didn't they, on, on the 10th of August? Uh, Annual Expo or something. Yeah. This is your, this is your uh, X species blue. Look how sad she is. So very tight. No, that's for this one. Yeah, these are apparently quite aggressive, so I've got to be very careful. Oh, it looks a bit weird. Oh, look at you. Very sluggish. Pull tissue out. Oh, great posture. Oh, it was so pretty. Very lanky. I think it's a boy. I don't know. Ooh. Oh, butt razor. It hates you. Yeah, <laughs> oh, well, listen. <laughs> that journey. Because yeah. of the damp tissue? Uh -huh. Did it breathe through their legs or something? No, no. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a little bit shit, see? Yep, there you go. I find a pelmet with Falcone, he's a dog female. Or at least, almost. She's no. so pretty. Oh, look at you. She wanted to come out straight away, didn't she? She did not like being in there. She, she is gorgeous. Is she me? No. Oh, she's beautiful. Yeah, she needs a bit of fattening Absolutely up. Absolutely stunning. She needs fattening up, though, doesn't she? Yeah. I wasn't expecting her to be that big. <laughs> I love the way she just what came out. out. <laughs> That's pretty. <laughs>
This is a giant flatwork scorpion. Who's not happy at the moment. Don't pitch my friend. <laughs> <laughs> we originally thought she was a male, so her name's Gordon. But it's a female. She's looking right at me. She is pissed. Beautiful. I really hurt. She you got a jump though. She jumped. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> this is the Brachypalma Alba Pelosum. Uh, a juvenile female. I think it's the hobby form. So she'll get very fluffy as she gets older. <laughs> okay, you just put the treat down. Oh, yeah. It's a bit white. Yeah, he's like a white bum. <laughs> Pardon you? <laughs> <laughs> The door. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's from the school. Crazy. <laughs>
she had severe scar rot. So if you look at her belly, if she lets me, you'll see down here that her scales are not as they should be. When I found Scarlet, she was covered in scar rot, almost head to tail, as well as shed. And it's a bit hard to see, but along her tail, she actually has a little dip. Oh. It might be hard to see. <laughs> That's where she had yep. stuck shed around there, and it had been stuck there for a while. So I had to soak it and gently peel it off, because where she was so tiny, I think she was a hatchling, um, it felt like her tail was going to snap off. So we have some nice baths, obviously, to get the first bit of shed off. That was good. That came off nicely. And with some medicated baths. One of the things we used was tamadine, which is really good for injuries, burns, for reptiles. And we used to feed her on small mice, twice on Monday, twice on Friday, to give her the chance to get the weight up, and obviously not to be too big, that it would expand her belly too much. Mm -hmm. And within, no, what'd you say, about a month or a so? A month, month or two, yeah. She, she started was... to heal up quite nicely. And it's five years now, isn't it? And she's completely healed. And a and scales so will never be anything. Scales will never be the way they used to be, but she can move around just like any other snake. She did have a bit of an attitude problem, obviously, because she wasn't well, but as you can see. Uh, it's awesome. It's great when you say success stories and uh, like you say, you nurtured her back to health and she seems like she's absolutely fine. She's happy, she's healthy. Well. Hey, you've done a great job. She's huge as well since we had her. It's nice to see that despite a bad start, that it's not affected her future. Isn't that right? right, this is Lucy, our leopard gecko. She was born with uh, deformed limbs and we think some sort of dwarfism, so she hasn't grown past uh, this size and we actually have to assist in her shedding because of her deformity we have to help her peel it off otherwise she'll struggle when it gets all caught on her feet bless her but she's quite good with it she freaks out occasionally oh, she's absolutely stunning the toes uh, we have to be careful with because uh, with geckos if you pull the shed the toes can come off so you have to be very gentle Put her on the ground so you can see how the deformities are. Hello and welcome to Education Corner. This is a new feature on the channel. I'm going to be doing it every week. So if you've got a question that you'd like answered, then leave it in the comments below or get in touch with me and I'll put it in next week's Education Corner. Now, what is an old world and new world tarantula? It's a term that we've all heard, um, even if you're new in the hobby, you would have heard um, the terms old world and new world tarantula. So what's the difference? So a new world tarantula is uh, from the new world, basically. So that includes the Americas. So North America, Central America, South America. So in 1942, Columbus discovered the Americas and that was the new world. So new world tarantulas from the Americas, old worlds are from Europe, Asia, um, Australia um, and Africa. So they're your old world tarantulas. Now there is a couple of big differences between the two as well as just where they come from. So the new world tarantulas they're probably better for the beginners because their venom isn't as potent because they will throw their hairs as a defense mechanism. Um, the old world tarantulas don't do this, they tend to have a higher venom um, toxicity as their defence mechanism. So they're your main differences between old world and new world. So I hope that helps, um, I'm going to show you a little example of each one. And uh, yeah, so if you've got a question for next week's Education Corner, let me know. Uh, hello, uh, this is an old world tarantula uh, called the Cobalt Blue. Hapla, no, not Haplopelma anymore, it's Syropagipus lividum now. And uh, this is a uh, old world, as I said. Old worlds don't have urticane hairs, so they will, their first defence will be to either attack or just run away. But I'll try and get this one to move a little bit for you. Oh. Won't bother her too much. But that, that's the old world tarantula. So this is our golden red rump. He is a New World Tarantula, which means whenever he feels threatened, he is likely to kick the hairs off the back of his abdomen. Whether he's going to let me hold him. He can be a little skittish, this guy in particular. 
on my mini might be calm, next mini might try and run. He seems to be doing quite well. You can kind of see why they're called the golden red rump. She's got that beautiful gold face and beautiful red on the back. Okay, so that's it for this week's episode. I hope you've enjoyed uh, this week's video. I've had a lot of fun filming this one. Michaela and Perry over MP Exotics were absolutely amazing. And um, I'm happy to say they've decided to start their own channel. So please, please, please go and check them guys out. They're absolutely amazing. Now, next week, I'll be doing a special video because it's my birthday on the 28th of August, which is next week. Um, and I'll be doing a special video on my birthday. Say hello. And also be reading out um, a few cards and stuff that I'm sent in. If you would like to send me a birthday card, you're more than welcome. I'll put my contact details in the comment section below so you know how to get hold of me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next week.